Welcome to Grandma Sousa's Storytime, coming to you from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I have a great story to read to you today. I hope you like it as much as I do. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Storytime today. How many of you know the story of Sleeping Beauty? I can see some of you don't, so I'm going to remind you about what that story is. A beautiful princess is put under a magic spell by a nasty old witch. She falls asleep and cannot wake up until somebody kisses her in a remote room of a remote castle. In the fairy tale, a handsome prince comes by and kisses her. She wakes up. But what if that princess snored, snored so loud and so horribly she scared everyone out of the castle? What if no one was brave enough to kiss a snoring beauty? Someone has to be brave. Today's story is the story of that snoring beauty. It was written by Sudipta Bardhan Qualen, and the wonderful pictures were drawn by somebody named Jane Manning. Let's see what happens to snoring beauty. The night before his wedding day, the skies were dark and dreary, but in his house, a little mouse was dreaming of his dearie. Mouse grinned a goofy little grin and settled in for dozing. He needed rest to look his best, but as his eyes were closing, from deep inside the lower room, there came a monstrous roaring. It shook the night as tucked in tight lay Sleeping Beauty, snoring. I know someday a prince will come to break this spell, Mouse grumbled. Till then, each quake kept Mouse awake as Beauty's snoring rumbled. Mouse rose to close the shutters. Then he peeked outside the tower. You see Mouse up here in the tower? A prince, he cried. I'll sleep within the hour. My name is Max, the prince announced, his manner fine and snooty. With shoulders squared, Prince Max declared, I'm here for Sleeping Beauty. Rushing to unlock the gate, Mouse welcomed Max, elated. From Beauty's room came Snogus Gnome, and Mouse's hopes deflated. Who waits in there? A troll? A bear? Asked Max through all the clatter. The tower shook. From every nook, small creatures ran and scattered. Oh no, Mouse cried and quickly lied. It's just some creaky flooring. Go on ahead. Although, Mouse said, she may be softly snoring. But Max was not a bit alarmed. He said, I'll do my duty. He drew his sword and hurried toward the sleeping Princess Beauty. As Max knelt next to Beauty's bed, her lashes gently fluttering, Prince Max leaned in, Mouse hit a grin, and then, she sputtered. Oh my goodness. Prince Max blew back, 
drew back, surprised and shocked. Egad, how loud he bellowed. Who oh, rats, mouse wept, though beauty slept. The perfect hadn't mellowed. This is not looking good, is it? Mouse said, let's work together now to stop these royal sputters. I propose we hold her nose. Oh, I suppose, Max muttered. Mouse waited for a snoring pause, then pinched her nostrils tightly. Max puckered up, but then, whoop! She snored most impolitely. They grabbed two pitchers from a shelf as Beauty lay crunching. Mouse yelled, heave ho! Then high and low, they gave her face a drenching. Mouse held his breath. Max bit his lip. Could this be it, they wondered? The room grew still. No sound until... Scrabble! She thundered. Let's try another plan, said Mouse, to solve this snoring pickle. Max nodded yes. Mouse said, I guess we could give her a tickle. They pulled the sheets from Beauty's feet, and soon they heard her titter. But when a whoom boomed through the room, both Mouse and Max grew bitter. Mouse wrung his hands and stared at Max. That's it, I'm done, Max shouted. To Mouse's pleas of kiss her, please, Prince Max just frowned and pouted. I like the crown, I like the throne, I really like the castle. Max shook his head. He shrugged and said, the snoring's too much hassle. He's giving up. As Max walked off, Mouse heard, Karoosh! He paced before the mirror. One kiss would do, but how? From who? At once, it all grew clear. Mouse knew what he would have to do. I hope I won't get cooties. Through snoring roars, Mouse crossed the floor and pressed his lips to beauties. Mouse pulled away and spit. Pachoof! The day's first light was dawning. He heard a high, yet sleepy sigh, and beauty started yawning. She rubbed her tired, drowsy eyes. A sight Mouse found quite splendid. He ran outside to Max and cried, The snoring finally ended! Max followed Mouse into the room. Go kiss her now, Max prodded. Max bent a knee, said, marry me. And Beauty beamed and nodded. With just a bit of time to sleep, Mouse slumped against his bedding. He woke at eight to celebrate his stylish double wedding. Mouse kissed his bride, and Max kissed his. They stood together grinning. Mouse raised his cup and offered up a toast to new beginnings. But when he tried to sleep that night, Mouse woke to monstrous roaring. He clutched his ears and fought back tears while Mrs. Mouse lay snoring. You know anybody who 
Krishna said back, maybe you should give them a kiss. Thank you for listening.